Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 2. So, we're picking up uh, after a day or so of travel since the last episode. Basically, our squad won uh, after picking up some additional medical supplies so that we would be A-OK -okay if we uh, got wounded along our trek. Have moved on from Drassen, swinging uh, up through Omerta and then down, and they are now perched just outside of Cambria. Uh, we've basically been resting up to get everybody's energy levels back up, and I think they're ready to move. Uh, also, if we don't get to move on soon, Daybreak is going to come, and I'd rather make this a night operation if possible. I think our NVGs give us the advantage there. Uh, everything else going pretty smoothly. We fended off like an attack over here. We're still training militia. That sort of thing. Uh, we did encounter a couple of random fights. One I ran from, and one I went ahead and fought with Squad 1. But uh, we came out on top of that, so no big deal. Right now, we're going to go ahead and pick up and set our destination for yeah. Sector F9 in Cambria. We should arrive in about 90 minutes, so around 5.30 in the morning. Of course, before then... Dimitri and Gasket are going to finish. Let's go ahead and put Dimitri on Militia to help out Ira. We'll throw Gasket on some marksmanship training. He's been doing a lot of repairs, so uh, he has not been seeing the same gains as, like, Gumpy, for example, have been seeing. Uh, uh, oh, should be about another 30 minutes until we're seeing this force Heads arrive. Up. We have a confirmed enemy presence. Two minutes ahead of schedule. Go us. All right. Um, energy points are okay. They might have uh, been a little bit better, but I didn't really want to stop and like spend another 24 hours just waiting for day to go away again. All right, we should check our goggles. Totally right. We're going to switch to MVGs. We're going to drop Bull's backpack. And then we're going to get these guys ready to take on a nighttime assault of this sector. Now, entering from the north, uh, you've basically got two options here really, right? Like you either come in from the east or you come in from the north. Uh, otherwise, you're probably coming in with militia and all of that. Uh, I have fought this from the east before. When I do so, I usually try to get in and clear these buildings. I do a lot of stuff inside. But coming in from the north, there is a flat top roof what building right over here, and that is a huge advantage for us. This is going to look a whole lot What's up? like it did when we were at the SAM site. We're going to get these guys you called? up onto the roof. Oh, no, not you. Standing by. You. And Standing by. finally... So we're going to go ahead and get these guys up on the roof and then try to attract a little bit of attention. So like one space back and then we'll go prone. What's up? Bull. I'm thinking we're going to put over here. I do need to be a little bit concerned about them calling in reinforcements from the neighboring sector and them potentially showing Standing up like by. right next to us. So with that in mind, What's up? I'm actually going to have Bull move over Standing one. By. Shove Grizzly in between. Then Fox over Will here. Alright. Have everybody go prone. What's Bull, up? you could probably stand to not be facing in that direction. Okay. This should be you good. Called? We'll have Fox pop off an unsilenced round. Somebody is sure to have heard that. And come to investigate. After all, why would there be gunfire? We're in Cambria. Everything should be totally safe here. So it may take a moment for these that guys what I've been waiting on. to wander into our view, but once they do, somebody like Bull should be able to greet them. Oh man, only did eight. That is crazy. Okay, uh, I tell you what, he's gonna be like. There's no way after taking Buckshot to the chest that he is a serious threat. You called? Like his action points, if nothing else, have been severely limited. Uh, he's a little far away, but running through the light in front of these houses. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect a lot to come of that. <laughs> Listen, everyone, there's some weird shit going on. Yeah, um, bullets, 
propelling through the air due to a contained explosion as they are fired from a gun. I mean, that's the weird thing, I guess. Oh, he had to reposition. That's unfortunate. All right, and then it causes him to sort of disappear, which I'm not a huge fan of. You know what? Let me, uh, I'm going to have Grizzly back him up for just a second. You Damn. Call. Okay. Uh, this time we Standing get two by. interrupts. Coyote's probably in a much better position with this long-range rifle to do something like this. Good, you good. Call. At least got one hit in. The rest I'm just going to sort of pop off as rounds that might hit we did get a little damage. Comes with the territory. Oh, visitors again. Hmm, I'm a little disappointed to see our night vision goggles you don't call? appear to be giving us Standing much, by. if any, advantage. Maybe this guy is wearing them too. You know, that's always a possibility. Um, but I was expecting more. You Probably know what? just waste ammo. Fine, fine. Oh, I can't do anything if I'm Standing in the by. kneeling. That is annoying. Well, I'll tell you what. Though. Grizzly, greet this guy. Cool. What's up? Pull. Drop back down. Totally waste your turn. Aim in on this guy. Standing by. And I guess that's all we can really do. Okay. You call? Pull turned out fine, and this is a little bit more Fox's speed. <laughs> Guy showing up in the globe of light right in front of us. Standing by. Ugh, that was a bad miss. Oh well. We should be okay. Standing though. by. Whoa. Was that a civilian? I think that was a civilian that just like randomly ran through there. You called? Okay then. Uh we should be able to finish that guy like so. What's up? And then Bull can finally end. His duel to the death here. Oh my god. Please let him die soon. I think I really need to go kneeling and then take a body shot at that guy. Standing by. That is a civilian, but not a civilian civilian. Interesting. He's got a gun and a name. Hmm. We are gonna have to look into that later. Take a torso shot. Oh, beautiful. And he's in critical condition. But the added uh, buckshot damage basically laid Standing him out. By. Tell you what, I'm going to have Grizzly walk over here just to finish this guy off before he's able to recoup cool. any action points or get back up. And while things are relatively quiet in the other directions. We'll try to avoid accidentally clipping the uh, civilian... By. And hopefully he sort of stays out of all this. Alright, that's the guy we shot earlier. Occasionally yelping in pain. Got lucky. Probably still close by, I bet. Yeah, yeah. We only killed three so far, and we've seen a fourth one who Standing is by. injured. Okay. Yeah, there's no way our cone of vision that's gets us been anywhere near that. By. Whoa. Grizzly. What you got for him? Okay. What's up? Not too, too bad. Let's see if Bull can sort that out. Indeed, he can. And he is dying. Awesome. Cool. Alright, so we should be in pretty much full on turkey shoot mode. What's up? Let me actually pop in here and see if it'll give me. No, no expectation of how many guys are in the sector yet. Fair enough. We don't have perfect intel. So. We'll just end up passing some of our turns here. What's hoping up? to see. You kind of want to keep Bull facing this way for the most part. So that uh, nobody comes in that's from the side of the sector. Oh, Standing by. that's not good. Standing by. Grizzly, how could you just let him shoot you like that? Oh. There we go. Cool. You call? And. Fox will go ahead and prove her worth, if not with the gun, then uh, with some first aid. Um, you know what, actually, even though we've got plenty of them now, best practice would really dictate not using our med kits uh, for just patching people up and instead 
making that the purpose of first aid. Oh, 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 garbage day. Enemy. Mr. Ralph Johansson. You've got friends too, huh? You called? Okay. Well, let's see how much your friends Standard like by. this. So Grizzly can take these shots. I have fairly high confidence. Ooh. What's up? Three, and he didn't go down. That is actually a little bit unexpected. But Grizzly can get the job done. Okay. Standing and then, by. you know what? Harry, can you, can you not see over here? Oh my god. Just barely. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and just weather the storm for a moment. Standing by. Grizzly Standing is by. all patched up. You know What's what? up? This seems like an you opportune call? time. Standing by. Standing by. For one of these. All right. So we have chemical brake lights. Uh, we have not gotten to use them to any sort of devastating effect yet, but they can basically give you a very unexpected illumination. So like the enemy Damn. believes they are safe over here. And then suddenly Standing over by. here becomes much brighter than it was before. This guy's in poor condition already and is easily dispatched. dispatched. Awesome. Between the use of night vision goggles and Standing brake lights by. to kind of play with the AI's ability to predict where light and dark actually are located, usually night ops go pretty smoothly. We mustn't forget the ones we didn't get. Okay. Uh, eventually, this brake light is going to kind of dim down uh, fairly quickly. We've still got, I think, the guy who was injured is probably over here. One, two, three, four, five, probably got six. There's a seventh. I would expect at least eight to usually be stationed somewhere. Um, it seems like the Queen's forces prefer squad sizes of eight. Looking over here. How were we able to shoot people over there earlier if you can't even see over here? That seems a little a little counterintuitive, doesn't it? We totally shot at a guy that was standing like right there. We have some inconveniences yeah. to dispose how of. How can you how can you not see over here if you're able to see over here? Uh Well, no, we do get another shot. Not able to redeem ourselves, though. Yeah, he noped right out of there. I can't blame him. Standing by. Open door, walk outside, two bullets go zooming by. It's probably a sign you should go back inside. Standing by. They probably haven't strayed too far. Now, we're not going to stay here forever, obviously. Uh, eventually, when it gets down to... I think kind of the... the way the AI appears to behave anyway, and I could be kind of off base on this, but um, you know, when they've got clear numerical superiority, they try to attack you. You know, so when you enter the sector and there are four of you and the enemy is going, well, there's 12 of us, uh, they'll charge right at you. And after you've killed, you know, Think half a dozen a people, sound. they'll suddenly start rethinking that superiority of. they felt they had earlier. Oh. And become quite a bit more defensive with how they're playing it. And we probably will not be able to back him up. No, nope, we just all our AP just getting uh. off the roof. We'll have Grizzly move over to here. What's no, up? just in case. And then I'm going to have him just drop off the ledge right here. And then turn around. Okay. Damn. Standing by. Yep, that is exactly why I did that. Just in case someone was to show up. Um, you know what? We'll go with full-on covering fire with a three-round burst here. That at least convinced him to get down. Awesome. Hello, Standard civilian by. that continues to Standard run around by. in the middle of the firefight. It's okay. There we go. Uh, you call? Fox up to his side. Like, right over here. Turn. Drop. Drop. What's up? 
And I'm going to have Bull run around this way. Grizzly, just hang tight for a sec. Standing by. Because you're going to keep doing this, I have a feeling. Okay, can aim at the torso. Do like a six round burst. Very nice. Standing by. <laughs> and that guy continues to run around in the middle Watch of our out. firefight. All right. Maybe he's trying to help. Maybe he's trying to harm. Who knows? Who knows? You called? Okay. Fox, uh, I really want you to like come over this way, kind of. Damn. And I'll try to just get some interrupts here. Uh, you know what, Fox? I'm gonna leave Standing you some by. AP in case anything else pops up. Lovely. Target dispatched. We know we've got that guy. Standing by. What are you doing? You called? Um. Man, I'd say there's actually like a small chance she accidentally shoots this guy. Like not the guy we're aiming at, the other this guy. Standing by. Thankfully that did not happen. And you can't see him at all? Not even a little bit? Well, come on now. It'll take me like 35, so I can move a little bit further up. Really it's just right about here though. Okay. Wow. Still by. did not see him. And I could jump over the ledge, but then I'd be shooting like you through call? the civilian, and that's unlikely to end in a positive way for me. We'll have Fox move up a little bit. She loses sight of him. Okay. We we'll see his head. We'll duck back down, pass oh. the turn. Standing by. Nice. There we go. And oh. easy peasy. It gets the job done. I was kind of hoping Standing by. that that was going Think to. I heard a suspicious oh sound. crap! They're turning up the heat. Damn. Well, uh, that was by. dumb of me. Uh, that's that was sheer laziness, Damn. basically. Um, I was about to finish it? the thought that I was kind of hoping What's that up? was the last enemy in the sector, and then when it wasn't, I was basically intending to get us Standing back into real-time control so that I could. Sort of group everybody back up and get a move on. But you called? the enemy had other plans. Clearly. Uh, she still can't see him. Still can't see him. Face this way. Let's go ahead and crouch. Take one shot. Very nice. Uh, I'd say Bull has, like, no chance you here called? of getting far enough up. So we'll just let Fox finish him off. Beauty. That's it for targets. Ah. At least for this area. Just one more guy after that. Awesome. We'll go ahead and control shift Foss and grab all our stuff and uh, sort everything out. Now... Let me pop back over here really quick. So Cambria is only at 16% loyalty. Uh, we've only taken like one-fifth of the available sectors. And anytime a city is still in red loyalty, they're not going to let us train militia here. There are basically aren't enough people loyal to our cause yet to uh, let us train them. That's fine. A little disappointing. It would be... Lovely if that was not the case, but I think we're going to end up having to take one more sector before we could do any militia training, and then we'll follow kind of the same approach we did for the last Done. sector of Drassen. Uh, once we can train Done. a little bit of militia, these guys are going to have a much easier time moving through the rest of the town. And I'm probably going to go ahead and leave out Taking the sector immediately to our south uh, and avoid taking it for a while just to avoid the Queen's counterattacks. I am, however, really curious about uh, this What's random up? civilian that was over here. Standard Let's get everybody. Is there any flat roofs? Oh, there are tons of flat roof over here. Okay. I'm trying to think of like where the best place to be for any sort of counterattack that might come. Uh, I might just get up like onto this building. That might work. I wish I had 
The building's a little bit too big for four guys to easily uh, cover from Standing the roof, by. but I think we'll have to make do. Hi there. Okay. Hi, Chris. Hardware stores got duty-free kitchen utensils. There's something good about this place anyway. You are seriously creeping me out here, Chris. Well, it's been real, eh? Hmm. I do not remember, Chris. I'm not sure if he's been added, or he might be one of the terrorists that we have yet to really uh, learn anything about. Hmm. See what he does if I try to recruit him. I'm Canadian. We're just peacekeepers, eh? Okay. Yeah, super creepy vibe. Um, probably a terrorist. I don't remember all of the terrorists. We haven't seen anything about the terrorists yet, but there's a whole like side plot thing where there's some uh, Watch random out. outlaws, effectively, that are spread uh, throughout the country, and you yeah, get sort of it. bounty missions to uh, to take care of them. Uh, we haven't really seen any of that yet, and so that might be one of those. I'm sure. Someone will leave a comment below and explain Stand to all of by. us why Chris is a psychopath. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to do a little bit of inventory management here. I think we're pretty good up? for ammo constraints, which is promising. And we've still got tons of medical supplies. I don't think we're going to take any time to patch up Grizzly any further. Uh, he's doing pretty well at 80 health. You know, that's more than some of our other characters even have at uh, maximum yeah. HP. So I think he should be fine. Uh, we need to get a move on fairly quickly to take another sector and get some more loyalty here. So I'm probably going to move immediately into F8. However, uh, I'm gonna take a moment to sort of snoop around the sector, see if there's any cool stuff uh, to be grabbing, any loot that I might want to loot. And then we will head on and continue our night assault on Cambria in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to subscribe to see more videos daily. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes. And I will catch you guys next time.